More and more organizations are adopting a sign everything approach, which is great, but it's not a silver bullet. It's not enough to just sign code anymore. Attackers are getting more advanced, targeting critical security assets that provide a greater ROI for their time spent. As organizations begin to shift their security processes left, attackers are doing the same. If a threat actor gets their hands on the private key of a web application, the traffic to that application is compromised. But if the threat actor is able to steal a code signing key, they can use that key to intercept builds and inject malware into the company's legitimate binaries, or even sign new malicious code with the goal of making it appear legitimate. Organizations need a solution to secure the entire code signing process and protect against these types of attacks. On the left side of the screen, we have a typical software developer's desktop or build system. This is a location where code is typically signed by the signing application using a code signing certificate. Without a quality code signing solution in place, it's not uncommon to find code signing keys stored on the build servers themselves or even worse on each developer's workstation. The issue with this approach is that once the keys have been distributed, the security of those keys cannot be maintained. It's no longer clear what code is being signed, who is performing the signing operation, and with what software. Even more alarming, there's no way to tell if those keys have been copied, shared with other users, or even exfiltrated from the organization. With Venify's CodeSign Protect solution in place, developers and deployment teams can use the same tools and processes they use today, while security teams inside the organization get policy enforcement, flexible approval and workflows, and visibility into the entire code signing process. A full audit trail is able to identify which user performed the signing operation and when, what code was signed and what application was used to sign it, and finally, what code signing key was used during that process. The Benefy Code Sign Protect plugin for GitLab makes it simple to connect these two industry standard solutions together. Benefy Trust Protection Platform provides machine identities as a service, in this case, code signing certificates, and GitLab CI CD pipelines enable complete automation for deployment teams. The integration allows you to both sign executables, libraries, scripts, etc., as well as verify that the signature is valid further in the deployment process or at a later stage or even in a different pipeline. When a GitLab pipeline is run, signing and verification jobs are handed out to the configured available GitLab runners. Shell, SSH, and Docker runners are supported by this integration, which are then going to use Venify's CodeSign Protect solution to complete the sign or verify job. Now let's take a look at an example environment. All right, so we'll get logged into the Venify platform here. And we can see a little bit of the config that I've done already. So I'm immediately logged into the code sign protect dashboard. We see I did have about three signing operations earlier this month as I was going through some testing. There hasn't been any recently. We do have one project and one environment inside that project defined already. Uh, and again, my, my three total signings were earlier this month. So once we're done, we should see a new signing event has taken place. Um, let's take a look at what we've got set up in our projects currently. So if I go to my code sign projects, we've got this test project here. It is currently enabled. Again, we see that three signings total for this project. If I take a look at the project, we can see some of the properties. We see the owner, the auditor, the key user who is actually going to be doing signing operations. There's a key approver. Uh, you do have the ability to permit certain signing applications as well, but uh, for the purposes of this demo, I've just left that wide open. We will be using jar signer. And then for the environments, I have configured already a test GitLab environment where I specify the certificate that we're going to use or the CA template rather that we're going to use to issue code signing certificates uh, and all of the other subject metadata that the code sign certs will use. Go ahead and save that. There's really no other setup that we have to do inside this environment. So I'll bring us back to the dashboard and we can take a look now at GitLab. And so the first thing that I'll do, you'll notice I have set up um, in my GitLab instance, I do have a runner already configured. So we're not gonna worry about installing any of the dependencies or anything like that, it's it's already been done. If you're using the Docker runner, 
there's actually no installation necessary of any of those dependencies. It all happens automatically for you from the Docker image. Right, over in GitLab, we will create a brand new project. I'll call this my test application. And so at this point, I've got my, my test application created. I can start building my CI CD pipeline, but before I do that, I'm going to come in and add a variable that we're going to use during the authentication back to the Venify platform. So in order to protect this password, we are going to create a TPP password variable and pass that value securely to the pipeline. And then we'll mask that variable so we don't want it to show up in logs as well. Add that variable. And at that point, I can come in and start building my pipeline. I'm gonna create a new pipeline. Um, GitLab does give me a template, but I am not gonna use that. I've already got a, a build pipeline file that I'm going to use for the purposes of this demo. So I'm just gonna paste that in and we'll walk through it a bit. So in this pipeline, we're doing two things. We're, the first job is going to be a build job and it's just gonna create a very simple example java file called foo.jar and pass that back to GitLab as an artifact. Then the sign job is going to pick that artifact up and sign it and then leave it in as another artifact that's a, a signed artifact of that jar file. That can be then used for further deployment or, or any other process in that pipeline. You could then take that and use the other function, the verify, job to verify that signature. For this purpose though, we're just going to do the sign. And so I'll save that and, and GitLab is automatically gonna try and run this pipeline. And we... S there we go. So we should see that this pipeline is running. The build is currently in progress and it's actually finished now. So the sign job should be in process and actually I wasn't quick enough so the job is already complete we can see that it kicked off um, a minute ago and it took about three seconds to run this sign task we downloaded the proper artifacts we see that we are logging into our trust protection platform requesting a grant that will allow us to use that certificate for code signing purposes uh, we then use jar signer to sign that artifact file. Uh, and then actually the, the nice thing about this integration too is the GitLab plugin is going to reach back out and revoke that grant. So this avoids that problem that some automated pipelines will have and that is requesting multiple grants without revoking them and, and leaving them open and available. So in some pipelines or in some environments you can have multiple grants for the same user open. And obviously that's not a good security practice. So the benefit of this plugin, again, is to revoke that grant immediately after the job that uses it is complete. And so we see that it has uploaded the artifacts for the successful signing job. And we are done. The job succeeded. Right, and if I want to go and check the Venify platform statistics now, we should see yeah, my total signings has increased to four. We see a, a signing event has happened today. And then if I drill into that just a little bit further, we can see signing activities for this environment and project specifically. Uh, so we see my one identity, my Paul Cleary identity, did a, a sign job today at 1 p.m. Uh, if I want to get just a little bit more information, I can go to the Venify configuration console and look at my code signing logs and see that that same operation here, the sign successful gives me a bit more, right? So it tells me the, the key and the certificate in use, the source IP address of the request, um, the actual project in play, uh, and then all of the other information that gets captured from the code sign protect solution. 